We know that uh, we make some damn good tacos. And uh, if you don't know yet, you need to know. From numerous reviews online to even TikToks, 50 pesos in Burlington has been consistently receiving praise for how good their tacos are. It's no surprise why the business has been going strong for 20 years. We make everything from scratch pretty much. We don't put sugar in almost virtually anything. In addition to the quality of the food, customers are not left hungry after eating at 50 pesos. So our tacos usually come to two in a box and they're very large. So your normal tacos usually can crush usually three, four, five, six, because they're tiny. These ones are quite large. Um, they're about the size of my hand. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but they're big. It's a full meal. The business was first started by Christopher's mom. Christopher left his job in the pharmaceutical industry to eventually become the owner of 50 pesos. So she was a small Chilean lady. She raised three boys. I'm the middle child. And once we were grown up, she was bored out of her skull. So she's like, what should I do with my time? So she decided to uh, make some of this lovely salsa and some empanadas from her home country of Chile. She went to a farmer's market in uh, Mississauga. And I was working a corporate slave job at the time. And uh, I called her that day and I said, Ma, how did it go? And she's like, I sold 50 pesos, meaning $50. And for her, that was a big deal. So she was making out of the house and then eventually we had to uh, rent this place, tear down some walls. And uh, one of my dreams was that she wouldn't have to work ever again. And that's the case. She stopped working many years ago now um, because uh, we've been blessed to have this awesome little business. The business also has been using a food truck for about seven years to bring their menu to more places. The truck, which is named Pepe after Christopher's uncle who passed away, won on the Food Network show Food Truck Face Off. I had no intention of winning, make a long story short. Um, I ended up auditioning and uh, I ended up winning the whole thing um, with uh, some of the skills I've acquired learning how to cook. 50 pesos also serves up fries, nachos, desserts, and more. For more information on the business, including booking the food truck for an event, you can visit 50pesos.ca. For Halting News in Burlington, I'm Edward Jan.